Okay, here it is mounted on the side of the house. Pretty much mimics the ones you can buy online and how it works. The, the top thing allows you to, to hit the studs on the building and the bot. Oh, darn you, Daisy. Get out of there. Goats eating my parts. Um, and then, of course, I, I put a strut underneath this thing to, to strengthen it up. And then this is just standard unistrut. It's the half thickness stuff, not the one and five eighths stuff. And uh, I use strap hinges right here and down here because I didn't want to mess around heating an angle and bending it and all that. And strap hinges are plenty strong. I would guess this is probably good for a thousand pounds, way more than the things you buy online. The other reason I wanted to build my own on this is the ones you buy aren't long enough. So the manufacturer of the heat pumps all suggest having 12 inches between the building wall and the, and the heat pump itself. But the ones you buy only have arms that are about 20, 21 inches long. And by the time you count the feet on the heat pump, the thing only ends up being six inches from the wall. So this is a full 24 inches. It gets the heat pump out where the manufacturer specs it's really supposed to be. Here's the heat pump mounted on the bracket. It's got 13 inches between the back of the heat pump and the face of the wall, so that's just a little over what the manufacturer recommends. Bracket seems really sturdy. I'm pretty happy with that. You can see it from this end. I got the isolation pads under it, so ready to hook a thing up.